It isn't hard to find motivation when you are literally under proof of performance all the time. I want them to have a great experience, and I think there's no better way than to win a championship while you're here. Stanford head coach Tom Gleamy has a 23-year history of Cardinal greatness, including the last four NCAA championships. And he was also the head men's Olympic gymnastics coach for the 2020 Tokyo Games. It feels like a bit of a responsibility um, a lot of the time. Um, like you, you look up and you, you see the history of Stanford Men's Gymnastics, what they had to overcome over the years, and um, you really want to keep that going. Troy Young and Asher Hong are current Stanford students who are also national team members. <laughs> Nearly half the U.S. men's national gymnastics roster of 20 has a Stanford connection. Uh, he definitely keeps everyone accountable for what they're doing. And I think that's been a, uh, a great part of his success. And also, he builds really detailed training plans that help us peak at the right time and help us rest at the right time, right? Athletes describe it as a tiered accountability that starts with the head coach and then goes down to every athlete. And each team member is expected to push other team members to be their best. It's not personal, it's progressive. And it creates a culture where people feel supported and they win. One of my favorite things that I take away from his, from his coaching is that you want to train as if you're competing and compete as if you're training. You want to be grateful for every moment you have out on the floor and really have fun. If you train hard, you compete and you have fun because you know that you have what it takes to succeed out on the floor. Our team is, I think, the strongest it's been in a while. Um, we're very, a very deep team this year. There are a lot of guys to choose from for this Olympic team. Knock wood. They, everyone stays healthy, and I think if everyone stays healthy and you know is training at the, the highest level, I think they're they're they're. they're very strong candidates for the team. Strong candidates with that Stanford edge that may show the smartest route to the Paris games may have included a four-year layover in Palo Alto. On the road to Paris, I'm Deirdre Fitzpatrick. Next, we get to know Folsom gymnast Riley Luce. He graduated from Stanford last year, is currently ranked third on the national team, and see how his alma mater is playing a huge role in helping him get to Paris. Scan the QR code for our Olympic podcast, Dying to Ask. The Road to Paris is available on all major podcast platforms. This week, it's a deep dive into the U.S. Olympic trial system and whether it's a sustainable way to pick American Olympians.